there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs to Bob, but built for theme park news and welcome to a very special video. This is our second poll reaction of the weeks, uh, our weekly poll reaction video, uh, that, you know, putting out that poll. And uh, obviously by the time you're watching this, poll 3 will be out there, so uh, go and get your votes down on that and get your extra comments in for a shout out as well. And um, this one's a very exciting one, I'm not going to lie to you guys because I put the question out there. Um, about Secret Weapon 9 and uh, we're going to get your comments in about your reactions to it um, we're also going to get the poll results up there and just react to everything about it really so um, if you want me to do more of these uh, reaction videos then again you know feel free to comment down below any, any poll suggestions you might have um, I am thinking of putting in some debating questions in the community posts as well. So try and get you guys commenting on some debates. And uh, try and get some reactions to your comments on there. Uh, and sharing your thoughts. Because we need to do another sharing your thoughts video. We haven't done that since the your thoughts on the Gangster Granny the Right. So uh, I might release some topics of discussion and do some more sharing your thoughts videos as well. Uh, but for now guys, we're going to get straight into it. We're going to look at the poll results. And then we're going to look at your questions. Now this has got... Over 120 votes, which is unbelievable. So thank you guys so, so much for voting. Uh, a massive increase on the first poll. And, um, you know, we've got about probably a load of comments that's over the double digits, which is unbelievable as well. So thank you very much for that. And uh, we're going to get straight into this. So please like, comment, subscribe for more. Click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. And for now, let's get straight into this and react to the poll results. So, of course, the poll question was, what will be Secret Weapon 9 at Alton Towers Resort? And we gave you a list, well, I gave you a list of five manufacturers, and we got your votes in. So, in last place is B&M with 11%, which is very interesting. Uh, just up from there in, with 12% of the votes was Mac Rides, 13% SNS. 20% RMC, and then Intamin comes in at a very strong 43% of the vote, which is, uh, not going to lie, very, very exciting indeed. I like the fact that uh, Intamin is the popular vote choice here. So there we go, Intamin, the number one choice at 43% of the votes. That's not too shabby. Um, that's pretty good, and, um, you know, I think that's a pretty much an overriding opinion. I think Intamin seems to be the strong choice for Secret Weapon 9, uh, whether it's replacing Rita, whether it goes in Katanga Canyon, or the Galactica Car Park, anywhere on the park, I think Intamin seems to be the strong choice here. Uh, people would love an RMC at Alton Towers, but I don't think it's going to happen, really, in my opinion. Uh, s, &S Axis Coaster, maybe... B&M, not many types of coasters from B&M left on the market, so uh, I think Alton Towers are running out of B&M options there. Uh, Mac Rides, again, strong choice, but I think, you know, from the poll, it looks very much like that's not going to be the case. Uh, and Intamin, so it's very strong choice. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm personally going along with the Intamin opinion as well. I think Intamin will be the manufacturer of the next secret weapon, but of course we'll have to keep updated on that. And uh, now the next part of this poll is very important, and that's sharing your, quest your, your questions, your thoughts, and of course sharing my reactions to your thoughts and questions about this. So let's move into your opinions on this topic. So the first question comes from Theme Park Frontline, who says, I'm probably crazy for saying this, but Alton Towers could use a B&M wing coaster. It would have to be launched, terrain coaster, that would still be a good ride. The GP has always loved a B&M wing coaster, so it should be pretty popular. All of the other Thrill Merlin parks have a wing coaster. You could put it in many parts of the park, Galactica's car park, Gloomy Wood, behind X Sector, or where Jewel is. It would work well in the park, bringing a modern B&M to the park. So thank you very much for Theme Park Frontline's uh, thoughts on this. Thank you very much, Theme Park Frontline. Thank you very much. And um, you know what? A B&M wing coaster wouldn't be a bad suggestion. I think with all the, like you said, all the thrill parks in the Merlin chain, getting this coaster, Thought Park, Heidi Park, um, Gardaland, you know, and the ones that are missing, of course, are Alton Towers, Chessington, uh, Legoland. Uh, Legoland won't add them, Chessington won't add them, so Alton Towers is realistically the last choice of park to possibly have one. 
And um, the sites that you've picked are very exciting as well. Gotska's Car Park, of course, that's always been a big site for a secret weapon project. Um, Gloomy Wood, of course, where the original broomstick launch coaster plans were going to go uh, back in the 0506 days. And, you know, that, that was a, a realistic site for a coaster as well, and I think it still could be. And, um, you know, I, I'd like that. I'd like a being a wing coaster at the park, but it's just a case of where would you put it? You know, would you put it to the north of Nemesis? Would you put it in the Glatzka Car Park? Would you put it in Gloomy Ward behind X Sector? Uh, well, well, around X Sector, where behind Oblivion. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. It should be interesting to see if they do add a wing coaster in the future, but if they don't, then I'm sure it would have been a great addition anyway. Uh, so, thank you very much for your uh, thoughts and opinions. Theme Park Frontline. Next one comes in from Nathan Grayson, saying an Intamin Hot Racer on the car park behind Galactica. Thank you very much, Nathan, for your comment. And an Intamin Hot Racer. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a brand new concept by Intamin. It's basically their take on RMC's single rail coaster. And you know what? I'm a massive fan of this as well. I think this is going to be a great addition to the park if it is. And, um, you know, it's the first of its kind hot racer concept in the world. So, you know, technically it's not the first single rail in the world, but it is technically the first hot racer concept in the world. So they could say it's a world's first. But we all know it's not. And, um, you know, that wouldn't be a bad addition. It's a futuristic looking concept. It's a futuristic looking coaster, which would fit very, very well with Galactica. And um, I think it would create a nice little... I think it, that coaster and a couple of other rides could create a nice space area behind Galactica. And Galactica becomes part of its own area now. So, because I've always felt that Forbidden Valley and Galactica doesn't really mix, in my opinion. Uh, it, it, you know, it might do. But, you know, I, I just prefer Galactica in its own area. Like, and put something in the Galactica car park. Especially since they're putting something temporary down for a temporary car park. They're putting some, like, temporary materials down, I think. Uh, for one of the temporary car parts to make that more permanent. So I think you've got no real use for the Glatzka car part, especially if you're walking up that footpath to turn inside. Um, I reckon that's a really good opportunity to walk past uh, a brand new coaster in that car park. And, you know, you're walking past it. You can come really, really close to it. You put some big fencing up, obviously. But you come really, really close to it. And it'd be a nice way to tease entry into the park. And um, in terms of a roller coaster restaurant only entrance i think that you would still use that path now i think you wouldn't use the rest of the car park i think you would just use that walk walkway and just cross over so i think the whole uh area for this coaster if it is the Glatzka car park would literally just be that stretch you'd sort of block off uh, any kind of access outside of that area so i think you'd have a, the, the walkway at the side the little thin walkway and you're going through there and then the rest of it is just area for the coaster so that wouldn't be a bad choice to be fair and i think like i said it mixed with the galactica concept but i've always thought the galactica theme doesn't really mix with forbidden valley so i think if you had another coaster maybe a couple of like family rides in that area uh with galactica in its own area i think that would make a lot more sense and it would really indulge people into this intergalactic theme and make it different to x sector so thank you very much for your comment nathan Graveson. Next comment from Shadow and Sloth saying Intamin Blitz for these reasons. They are compact and not too high so they can build it. Merlin have worked with Intamin before to make 13, which still boost attendance by 200,000. In the last 10 years, they have a lot of hit Intamin launch coasters. Hagrid's, Taran, Velocicoaster, etc. Big thank you to Shadow and Sloth for your comment. Now, I do agree with all that. I think that... Uh, an Intamin Blitz coaster is probably the choice I'd go for, whether it's replacing Rita, whether it's um, being inside the um, Glatzka car park, or the trough of the Rapids, where the Rapids is now, uh, in Katanga Canyon. I think either way, I think this would be a great addition to the park, and I think that this particular coaster would be a good addition. So... I wouldn't be against a Blitz coaster. I really, really wouldn't. And, um, you know, it provides a lot of terrain, a lot of, you know, side side turns. And, you know, this is definitely a good addition to the park if they decide to go with that. So, uh, massive shout out to Shadow and Sloth for your comment. And thank you very much. Next comment from Jack Whitlock, who says, I think a launched SNS Axis coaster. Thank you very much, Jack, for your comment. A launched Axis coaster, that wouldn't be a bad addition. Especially if you replace Rita with that. I think that that would be a great replacement for Rita. Um, in Dark Forest. Or you could even put it in the Glatzka car park. Again, futuristic concept. Mixes with the Glatzka theme. 
and um, you know I think that an access coaster wouldn't be a bad addition. But to be fair, I did have a site for the access coaster in Forbidden Valley, which is not the Glatzka Car Park. And if you guys have seen past video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And that is since of Terror and Project 42, and that's closed. Use that building. Use the blade site, use the ripsaw site, and have a nice outstretched out and back layout working its way through that whole area. That would be big. Of course, the blade has been given some recent refurbishments from TLC, so we know that's back up and running, uh, which makes it a lot harder to replace the blade. Or you'd probably move the blade into a new area of the park, maybe. You'd move it somewhere else. I think if it's been more wizards on the chopping block in the next few years, then maybe you put the blade in that site and sort of retheme it to CBBs and expand that area. Um, or if you want, if you really wanted to, you could maybe even, um, if there's no plans to turn that Mutiny Bay Courtyard into a smokehouse restaurant and, um, you know, if you may be going to remove that in the future, if you're not going to put any more shows in there, I would remove the courtyard and put the, uh, the blade in there maybe. I mean, that's probably a long shot guess, but you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. And, um... You know, it would be interesting to see if the blade would go somewhere else in the park. And if it does, then I would like to see something like an Axis Coaster in that site, mixing with the Ripsaw site and the Subterra site. So, it wouldn't be a bad idea, especially if you could do like a nice zero-G stall over the, the Nemesis gun uh, structure, which is in some rocks in the middle. And um, it would be some great interactions with the, the rest of the area, but... It should be interesting. Should be interesting. Uh, but I like a lot launched Axis Coaster anyway. So uh, thank you very much for your suggestion, Jack. Next up, Ben Davis has said it should be a B and M, but they cost a fortune, and towers just don't have the room unless they took something out or put it behind Galactica, which would mean digging a lot and costing more. So it won't happen. Thank you very much for your comment, Ben. And uh, you know what? I agree with you, mate. I think that um, a B and M would be a lot of money to put in. I think the Surf Coaster just, I don't think Alton Towers would invest in that uh, for one. And I think the Wind Coaster would be good anyway. So I think that's the more realistic B&M option if it was an option. Um, apart from the Gatsuka Car Park, you know, like, like you said, taking something out or doing a lot of digging will cost a lot of money. You look at, you look at Oblivion, for example. I think the... Um, I think some people would spend loads of money, multi-million pounds on rides. Um... But I think multi-million, just digging a hole, was crazy to people. And that was the story behind digging the hole for Oblivion. There was and That cost a lot of money to dig. So, especially in the times of 1998 and 1997 when it was constructed. So, um, you know, I, I do get why B&M wouldn't be a realistic option anymore. Because it's just too much money for them to put into the park. And, um, you know, the Smiler is still their most expensive addition in history. And that's £18 million. That's a Gerstler Infinity. But that also included t digging down and removing the Black Hole 10. So, £18 million for that whole project was a lot of money. And that's still the most expensive coaster Alton Towers have put in to date. If they were to break that, th that would be breaking the bank. Let alone breaking the, the record. So, you know, I think a and m is just too expensive. So I, I completely agree with you, Ben. Um, but I think if they had the money for it, it would be great to see a new B&M at the park. Because like you said, even though it costs a fortune, it should be a and m Because a and m is a very reliable, very great manufacturer. And they produce some exciting concepts. Whether it's Wing, whether it's the Surf Coaster concept, anything, it will be a great concept for the park. Next up, Suzanne Cohen, who says, I just don't see Merlin wants to go with RMC. So either a Mack Ride Spinner, like Cobra's Curse, but more extreme, or a B&M Wing Coaster, because it's the only major Merlin part that does not have one. Thank you very much, Suzanne, for your comment, and I completely agree with you. Again, look at the B&M Wing Coaster. It's the last major B&M concept the park does not have, and it's the last major park in the, in the Merlin chain that doesn't have one of these Wing Coasters. Chessington are two family, Legoland Park's two family, Thorpe Park has the Swarm, Gardaland has Raptor, and Heidi Park has Flug de Diamond. So, you know, you've got to look at that and say, Alton Towers are the last major parts and not have a wing coaster. And realistically, could add a wing coaster. And like you just said there, there as well, um, the park probably won't want to work with RMC. I think that's more the likes of Blackpool and Flamingoland for the Raptors, or like an RMC conversion of something. I'm still waiting for an RMC Grand National, but we'll see. Um... <laughs> And um, like you were saying there about the Max Spinning Coast, like a Cobra's Curse. Um, that, to be fair, would not be a bad addition. That would not be a bad addition because 
Uh, I mean, you've got Spinball Wizard, which is the Marathon Spinner, so I don't think we'll see a spinning coaster. Uh, probably an extreme spinning coaster, like um, like the Time Traveler. But I think that in terms of a Cobra's Curse type spinning coaster, I don't think we're going to see that, because of course we've only got Spinball Wizard. Um, but I think an extreme spinning coaster, like a Time Traveler, would be a good addition for the park, in, even when Spinball Wizard is already in the park, because you've got a family spinning coaster, then you have a thrill spinning coaster. So both markets getting a spinning ghost which would be a great addition to the park so uh, thank you very much for your comments Suzanne and I'm glad you're enjoying the videos next up Sam Lovett shout out to him who says I think it could be an LSM launched Axis coaster to replace Rita thank you very much for your comments Sam and uh, funnily enough I just said that it would be nice to see a launched Axis coaster replacing Rita that was linking to Jack's comment and, um, you know, that would be a very good addition for the park. I think theming it up to some kind of death machine in the dark forest that's trying to restore order to the forest taking over uh, and trying to clear up the raceway and trying to clear up any evidence of the forest taking over. That would be a great theme for this ride and uh, it would be a great addition to the park. So a launched Axis coaster, wherever it is, whether it's replacing Rita or anywhere else in the park, would be a fantastic addition to the park. So I'm very happy to see if there is going to be a launched Axis coaster. But, you know, if it's replacing Rita, it'll be the perfect replacement. Because it, it gives the park a new seat variation, but it also gives Dark Forest a new lease of life. Because they haven't... Dark Forest hasn't really had a new lease of life in terms of new attractions since 13 was added and the Dark Forest was created back in 2010. Next up, Isaac Shearer, who says, I don't know if it would affect it, but they have worked with Duplo Dino Coaster at Legoland, and that was a small project. So maybe they're trolling a relationship with Mac. I tell you what, Isaac, thank you very much for your comment. You could be onto something there. Uh, Matt rides, of course, the Duplo Dino Coaster, the kids' coaster at Legoland Windsor that opened this year. Um, I think you could be onto something. I think Matt rides would be a great manufacturer to work with with Alton Towers. And to be fair, they have worked with Mac in the past on other attractions. Obviously, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's uh, boat ride system was originally a Mac ride system. Um, and, you know, they've worked with Mac on other projects as well. So I think that Matt Rides wouldn't be a, a stranger to Alton Towers. I think it'd be great to see him work with Matt Rides, especially on a coaster. The Extreme Spinner. That is something I've always wanted to see at Alton Towers, especially when that concept was created back in 2018. I've always wanted to see that come to fruition at Alton Towers. Um, even, even if they don't, even if they have Spins Ball Wizard in the park, I think that an Extreme Spinner would be very good for the park. And, you know... Behind the Galactica car park, it would suit really, really well. So, you never know. You could be looking at something here. But uh, I think it, I don't think it, I think it would possibly affect it. But I think that Matt Rides, I think, from the Duplo Dino Coaster project with Legoland Windsor, I think working with Alton Towers wouldn't be a stranger for Matt Rides. And I think it would be a great relationship. So, you could be on something there, Isaac. Thank you very much for your comment. Because it sort of, it sort of ticked something in my brain about that. So, uh, thank you very much, Isaac. Much appreciated, pal. Next up, Mag Mag Officiel. I like the pronunciation there. Uh, who says, I think it'll be an Intamin Blitz that replace Rita, but I hope that they get a B&M Surf and keep Rita. Very interesting comment there, Mag Mag Officiel. And, um, you know, an Intamin Blitz, that'd be a great addition to the part, like I said. But the B&M Surf Coaster, of course, that's a brand new concept from B&M. So, would they invest in that concept? In my opinion, I don't think they will. Uh, I think that's probably like the SeaWorld Orlando's, the China Parks. I think that's like more not really an Alton Towers kind of project. So I think they're going to probably focus on other projects from other manufacturers or a wing coaster if it is going to be a B&M. So I think we're looking here at the Intamin Blitz more than the Surf Coaster. But, you know, fair play for putting the Surf Coaster project concept idea out there because it sort of caused some debate. So uh, thank you very much to Mag Mag Official for your comment. Next up, Cyclone Thrills, who says, I honestly think an Intamin Blitz or one of the new single rail models. So thank you very much for your comments, Cyclone Thrills. And um, you know what? The single rail models, in, in terms of new single rail models, I'm thinking you talk about the Intamin concepts. But I'm going to look at RMC as well. Like I said, RMC Raptors, compact thrill coasters, not much capacity. I don't think that's really an Alton Towers edition. The single role models for the Intamin concepts, that would be a more likely addition because I think that would be a great addition to the park. 
Again, work with Intamin, the most likely manufacturer, according to the fans, you guys. And, um, you know, I think it would it would be a good single rail coaster for the park. And I think, again, working in that Galatica area would be great for the park. So, uh, thank you very much for your comments, Cyclo Thrills. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. We've got five more to go, guys. We start off with Coaster Thrills, who says B&M, because they could get a low-to-the-ground launched wing coaster due to the fact all the other major Merlin parks have wing coasters. Thank you very much for your comment, Coaster Thrills. And, uh, yeah, I agree. I, I, once again, we'll say it again. Alton Towers are the last part that could realistically in the Merlin chain get a wing coaster. So a, a launched wing coaster like Thunderbird or Holy World, but very low to the ground. Maybe even working inside that um, that trough uh, for the Rapids and uh, or the Galactica Car Park, either way. I think that would be a great addition for the park. And I think it would be a great coaster uh, and a good addition to the lineup of coasters at the park. So uh, a wing coaster wouldn't be completely out of the question for B&M. But again, it's all, that, it's all that debate of cost and where and where it could realistically work. So, a wing coaster would be great on paper, but it's just a case of working out the finer details. But, thank you very much for your comment, Coaster Thrills, and I'm glad you're enjoying the video. So, thank you very much for participating in this poll reaction video. Next up, Para Skeep, who says, If Alton Towers get an RMC, they could advertise it as England's first hybrid coaster. Thank you very much for your comment there, Para Skeep. I think that was an interesting debate. I think an RMC, the UK's first um, hybrid coaster... That wouldn't be a bad idea. I think that an RMC would be great, but again, it's that whole debate of would RMC work with Alton Towers, vice versa. Um, is RMC going to work with other UK parks in the future on conversions or single rail coasters? It's just a matter of where and when. So I think that Alton Towers maybe won't work with RMC, but I think if they did, it would be nice to see that. So thank you very much for your comment. Next up, Single Rail Industries, who says, I voted for Intamin because of the new coaster concepts. Hot Racers, Vertical SM Coaster, Ultra Splash, and the Giga Splash. Thank you very much for your comments, Single Rail Industries, and I agree entirely. The Intamin concepts look fantastic. Um, these brand new concepts that have been unveiled, and I think that the boat, all of them are going to be excellent additions to theme parks across the world. And... I think out of them concepts, I would choose the, the Hot Racer concepts for Alton Towers. I think the Ultra Splash and the Giga Splash is probably for somewhere else. And the um, the LSM Vertical Launch Coaster, I think that would rather be a, a very... It's a very fine blueprint. It's a very cons uh, compact blueprint for a different park. So I think I would rather go with the Hot Racer concepts. It's more realistic for Alton Towers. Um, but I think any of them could be good additions for Alton Towers. So thank you very much for your comments, Single Rail Industries, and I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. And finally, Falco Flair, who says, Vacoma Shockwave at Energylandia, and hopefully at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Thank you very much, Falco Flair, for your comment. Now, the Vacoma Shockwave, uh, which is Abyssus in the Aqualantis area of Energylandia for next year, that would be a good addition for the park. Again, the Glatzka Car Park is a site to use. Um, there's some other sites you could use as well, but I think that overall the Vekoma Shockwave wouldn't be a bad addition to the theme park. I think that the, uh, the double launches, if it's a single launch or a double launch, either way it would work very well. And, you know, I'd be really excited about this addition, and I think the Busch Gardens Williamsburg, as a, as a sort of side point, they would do with one of them as well. I think they'd be great for that park as well, but I think Alton Towers especially, that would be a great ride, and I think it would be a, a great showcase of how how far the coma's come in the last year or two in terms of improving their rideability and improving their concepts and their portfolio of, of products. So, you know, it'd be a great addition to Alton Towers, but also to BGW as well. Thank you very much for all your comments. That is it. That is it. Oh, that got through a lot, but uh, a lot of concepts there, a lot of thoughts and opinions. Um... All of them I can take into account and all of them are very good thoughts and opinions. So thank you very much to everyone. Hopefully those of you who might be afraid to comment anything, you know, you know, whatever it is, why, if you're afraid to comment or anything like that, this is a video. The reason why I also do this, the reason why I encourage you guys to comment is I want to share your comments and share every single opinion and think about it realistically. So... Um, you know, if, if you're afraid to comment anything, just comment at least one thing, you know, this should hopefully give you the confidence to comment one thing, because I'd love to shout all of you out in the video, and, um, you know, talk about, you know, your comments, you know, what I think to them, 
you know, whether I agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. We all have different opinions, we have to learn to live with them, so... Uh, if you're afraid to comment anything, just comment one thing and just see how it goes. And if you like it, you can comment more. So, um, you know, but, you know, don't be afraid to comment or anything like that. Because I accept every single opinion on this channel. And, um, you know, you guys are just as important to the channel. So, um, you know, it's all down to you guys why I'm in this position. Why I'm nearly at 2,000 subscribers. Nearly at half a million views overall. And uh, doing the stuff that I'm doing at the minute. So uh, it's all because of you guys. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, don't be afraid to comment. Uh, but like I said at the start of the video. Poll 3 will be out by the time you're watching this. And uh, the question should be out there. I think I mentioned the question in a video that I said I was going to do. Uh, so, so whatever it is it should be out there. Uh, but for now guys thank you very very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos over the next few weeks. We've got some next 5 year videos. Some Coast Shell reviews that I've pre-recorded. And some more news updates coming as well. So thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day. Thank you.